Do you know what? I know what you're all thinking. You're all thinking, who's that? Or some of you might know who he is by now. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host. I'm in the channel that brings you your team every single day, guys. Uh, it's uh, 25 to 1 on Saturday morning. I'm just recording this video ready for, obviously, for Saturday morning. It's not match day. Obviously, match day is Sunday when we take on St Mirren at Ibrox. A bit of, bit of that later in the video. Also, thank you for the phenomenal response to yesterday's video. Over 3,000 views, uh, for 14 or 15 new subscribers. The channel is now up to 3,832 total subscribers. We're only 168 away from our target, which by the end of this, this month, yeah, it's I can't believe this year's nearly over. Where's it gone? We want to get 168 more subs before the end of this month, which is 29 days away now uh, to get to 4,000 at year's end. So can we do it, guys? That's just six subs a day. Six subs a day. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, come on, subscribe. It's free. You get Daily Rangers content. Um, you get some English bloke talking about the greatest team in the world. So... Look, let's start off with this. You all, those of you who know, well, you don't spoil it for everyone else. And for those of you who don't know, this is our new director of recruitment. I think that's how they termed it. Let me just clarify. So it is the completion of the, in Rangers website's words, Rangers Complete Men's Football Board. Um, they have appointed this guy as director of football recruitment. Uh, so in effect, this is, you are looking at Ross Wilson's replacement. Who is he? Uh, when does he start work? What has he done previously? Well, he is called Niels Koppen. He is uh, from PSV Eindhoven, who have, you know, excellent track record in Dutch football. And, you know, obviously with a team that knocked us out of the Champions League. He is only 38 years old. Um, prior to him being appointed director of recruitment at uh, football recruitment, sorry, at Rangers, he was head of scouting at PSV Eindhoven and worked all across their very uh, famous and very successful academy um, since 2018. So he's been there now for five years and played a role in bringing through lots of talent to the PSV Eindhoven first team. Uh, so he's obviously got a good track record um, in terms of that. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, the football board um, is comprised of, this is the board that look at signings, contracts, renewal of contracts, etc, etc, is comprised of John Bennett, the chairman, CEO John James Bisgrove, Philippe Clement, the manager, the director of football operations, Craig, Craig Robertson, director of medical and performance, Dr Mark Waller, and the academy director, Zeb Jacobs. And now uh, the kind of head of that uh, football side of it, and up above on the board side of it, is Niels Koppen. Um, apparently, though, he will not start work until January the 2nd. Um, but I have no doubt in my mind that they have already had some discussions with him as regards targets, as regards players, and he will play a role, an active role in that January transfer window. Um, I'm, I've got no doubt in my mind he will have spoken to Philippe Clement, he will have spoken to James Bisgrove. Um, about targets, about prospective players, and they will have run past him, prospective names and players. You know, he is, after all, a been a director of scouting. I'm sure he has a very wide network across Europe, South America, and all over. You just got to look at the types of players that PSV Eindhoven have recruited over their time there. You know, he is tasked apparently with ensuring the club have a thriver, thriver. That's not a word, is it? Thriving, even player trading model. Um, and he will also be in charge of leading the recently revamped scouting setup at the Rangers tra Trading Centre. And that is very much, you know, around that uh, use of data, data analysis, AI, computer, computer generated stuff and all that kind of jazz that more modern football clubs do. You know, more modern football clubs, they all use computer AI and data analysis and whatever. Maybe if we'd actually used that before the summer transfer window, we wouldn't have ended up with as many duffers as we have. Niels Koppen did speak about his appointment. Um, he said, I'm delighted to be joining such a prestigious club like Rangers in what is a crucial role for the club's forward strategy. The chairman and CEO have both been clear in recent times. Our player trading model has to function better on a more regular basis. I look forward to working with the scouting team already here at the club to ensure we reach our goals in the coming years. Rangers are also pleased to... Conf now, this is not what he said, so this is also... They also apparently have... Um, recruited a new director ahead of performance so in effect it's like kind of i don't know splitting the role 
of the director of football and this is a guy called Tom Taylor. He is the new head of performance. He will work closely with the manager, Dr. Mark Waller and the first team squad. Um, he will join Rangers on December the 26th, 22nd, sorry. He has previously worked in that role at Brighton and Hove Albion, who, as we know, have an absolutely excellent strategy for recruiting and retaining players. So Tom Taylor is the new head of performance. So it seems like that director of football role has been split into two. We have Niels Coppen and we have now got Tom Taylor. Um, it's a new era. It's a new way of leading the club forward. It's a new philosophy for running the club in terms of a director of the sporting director or director of football. Now, of course, you know, Niels Coppen, maybe someone no one's ever heard of. He's not box office. He's not He's not Sam Jewell. He's not uh, Craig Moore or Carlos Bocanegra. You know, he's not uh, Dimitri de Conda, who was heavily linked. So, you know, who is he? What what does what does he have as a track record? What do we bring to the club? And that's what we kind of need to know. Like I said, he has got a good track record of, of, of talent spotting and bringing players through the ranks. He's worked with PSV Eindhoven. You know, that is certainly something that we, that we know. Now, um, he is... He has an extensive CV, Niels Coppen, of uh, scouting and coaching work under his belt. Um, he was obviously, like I said, head of scouting at PSV for the last few years. Um, he initially joined the club setup as a youth scout and he worked his way up through there. Prior to working with PSV, he worked with Genk. Yes, Genk, that's right, in Belgium, where he was in charge of scouting the for the youth teams from 2016 to 2018. Now, during that spell, who did Coppen work with? Yes, that's right. He worked with Philippe Clement. He's also had roles with Lommel SK, where he was a youth coach and an academy manager. Um, and, you know, he worked very much at link, taking the link and developing the link between the youth team and the first team. Something that Rangers have said that they definitely want to have and they do need to develop. So that's really interesting. Um, you know, he has played you know a big part, apparently, in constructing that PSV Eindhoven team that dismantled us. Um, you know, the bulk of that side that, uh, that hammered Michael Beale's Rangers 5-1. People like Johan Bakker, Yoko, Joey Veerman, who kind of winds people up, Noah Lang, were all products of his scouting network and all players that he helped to identify. And they are very, I mean, you look at Bakker, Yoko and Lang, for example. Lang is a goal machine and Bakker, Yoko is a terrific winger. You know, if you can go on to spot some players out for Rangers, absolutely more the better. Um you know, he's definitely, definitely good. That is definitely something that is heavily in his favour. He's also notable for the fact that um, Moroccan international Ismail Saibri, who scored twice that night in Netherlands, was bought to PSV from Genk. Uh, again, straight after Koppen came, Koppen identified him at Genk, brought him to PSV. Um, you know, he has been absolutely, absolute quality. Now, he knows Philippe Clement. He has a working relationship with Philippe Clement. He knows how to work with Clement. Um you know, he has, he's worked with head of the, he's also worked with the head of academy at Rangers, the new head of the academy that we talked about a few months ago on this video, on the video here, Zarab Amariran. He's also apparently had a working relationship with Zeb Jacobs as well. So he has got a working relationship with all these players and also all these management, all this management staff. You know, he is, as I said, the final piece in Rangers jigsaw. So Niels Coppen and Tom Taylor um, seem to be the two that are coming in to be the new kind of director of football between them. That role has now been split. And I think it's good to get that focus, that, that to drill down and kind of take it away from one person because Ross Wilson carried a lot of blame for what happened. Ross Wilson didn't do a, do a good job, but it's given kind of specific roles here to the two new two, two new people. You know, Taylor with the head of performance, looking at standards, looking at medical side of things, that side of, that side of things, probably looking at the standards and, and the training effort and also the... Um, the, the style and the playing playing style and taking a playing style and working it across the entire structure of the club so that clubs right from the under straight from our you know our underage groups all the way up to our men's first team are playing with the same style so as they come through there is a clear link and a clear transition between those teams whereas Coppen is there obviously to work on scouting to work on development of that youth talent to work on bringing that talent through and also to work on that trading model that we badly want at this club to help generate funds going forward so for me Niels Coppen is an absolutely excellent will be an excellent appointment if this works and look like any appointment it carries risks all appointments carry risks the appointment of Philippe Clement carried risks any signing carries risks you don't know how they're going to perform at your club how they're going to settle in your club how they're going to meld with the people and work with the people in your club this is it but 
it's clear that James Bisgrove, that John Bennett have gone out and appointed people based on the fact that they have a new vision for this club, that they want to take this club forward. And we have seen that, you know, through the people they've sacked and got rid of and they're changing the academy director, you know, see Zeb Jacobs coming in, Zorab Almiran coming in. There is There was a, a need to change that as well. They felt that wasn't working. You know, it, it is all about forward thinking. It is all about trying to give this club a vision to move forward, not only to develop its players for the first team, but also develop those players to generate income and other in, income revenue streams for this club. You know, one of the things that we have sadly fallen behind that lot from across the city is in terms of our, of our revenue income. And this is something, a move that will certainly help us to develop that and to bring in more money to the club, which will help us to obviously sign better players and to sign players who are up and coming and promising as well. And like I said, you look at what Coppen did at PSV in terms of Noah Lang, in terms of uh, Joey Veerman, in terms of Bakayoko, real quality players that that are fundamental parts of that very successful PSV Eindhoven team. And, you know, hopefully that's the sort of thing he can bring to this club. Look, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. I, I know for some fans it will be a disappointment. You know, they will have wanted someone who's a bigger name like a Sam Jewell, like Craig Moore, for example, the image of Conda, someone like that. But this guy, I think, you know, he has a track record with PSV Eindhoven. They are a successful club. They've got a successful youth system. They've got a successful scouting system. It's clear, you know, from the success they've had in Europe that they have in, in Holland and the success they've had in Europe and how they absolutely wipe the floor with us. Look, We've got to get behind this guy. The same we've got to get behind Philippe Clement. Yes, they will make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Clement made mistake made a mistake on Thursday night. Something I think he has has realised. But we get behind them. We support them because they are are ours. It's interesting that uh, Copper doesn't join to the second of January, but I do think he will play an active role in the January transfer window, which is going to be a vital one for Rangers. Obviously, with a need to bring in, I think, a striker, a central defender, and a winger and possibly also a left back as well. There is, the needs are vast and many after that debacle against Aberdeen on Sunday and that even bigger debacle against Aris Limassol in the Europa League on Thursday. Well, thank you for watching Glasgow Rangers Nation, guys. I kind of made this a bit of a one focus for this, this uh, video this morning just because it's kind of, I don't know, I was just kind of flicking through whilst I was on break at work and this news came up and I thought, oh, I've got to get back. I've got to make a video about that when I get back and I've got to talk about it because that's what we're here for. We're here to bring you news. We're here to talk about the news. We're here to give opinion as well. And look, you may not share my opinion. And that's fine. That's what this is about. If you don't, let me know. Look, that's just the way it is. Well, guys, if you can smash the sub, that would be phenomenal. We want to keep this channel growing. You know, I love this channel. I love talking about Rangers. This is, this is, you know, this is what, this is me. This is, this is part of my life. You know, Rangers are up there. You know, my, obviously my girls are first. That's what I love the most. My family, but then Rangers, obviously behind my girls and my family. And that's just the way it is, guys. And, and look, when they lose, it hurts and it gets to me. And the performance of the night got to me. And I, I, was, I perhaps overreacted with some of my comments. But look, when it hurts that much, when it rips the guts out of you, you've got to say what you feel. It's got to be sort of a, I don't know, a kind of, Therapy, I don't know, talking about us, which let's face it, Rangers does leave, leave us needing an awful lot of therapy. Like I said, if you can smash the sub, that would be phenomenal. Help the channel to keep on growing. Please smash the like on the way out. That's the first thing I always ask you and the second thing I always ask you for. Remember, never forget, we are the people.